What's up guys, it's Andrew here with a quick tutorial on Illustrator and I'm going to try and show you how to make this shutter icon so you can use on whatever projects you're working with uh, with clients, you can use this as a logo or as a part of a logo or anything you might want to work on next now, firstly what you want to do is we're going to go and create a new artboard uh, I'm going to make mine uh, 300 by 300 millimeters, just make it nice and square. And first thing you want to do is come on the left and grab your ellipse tool. And then we're going to go and select a black fill with no stroke. And we're going to press down shift key, press and hold, and draw out a circle. Now we're going to go up here and align to artboard and then center our shape. Next we're going to grab our polygon tool and we are actually first of all going to click away from the shape then we're going to grab our polygon tool we're going to select a white fill no stroke click anywhere on the screen and just for this tutorial's sake I'm going to make mine a six-sided polygon for my shutter and I'm going to select around 30 millimeters of radius. You can make that as big or small as you want. Now there's my shape. I am going to align that to the center of my artboard as well. Now if you're okay with that, that's perfect. That looks great to me. Next, I'm going to click away and we're going to grab our line segment tool. Now we are going to start from this bottom left corner of our shape, drag to the left at zero degrees and we are going to apply a white stroke and I'm going to raise that to about 60 points, that looks good to me. Then we're going to go right here upwards at 60 degrees, then here at 120 this is going to be at 180 that's going to be at 240 and the last one is going to be at 300 now that might look ready but it's not it's just a collection of a background shape and just stroke lines on top and a middle shape right there now what we want to do now is um, have our selection tool and just grab, holding down the shift key, just grab all the lines we just made like that and then we're going to go to object path outline stroke and what that does is it creates editable shapes from the stroke lines we just made now with that selected we want to click and select the whole of our project right here and we can either go here and select our shape builder tool or just shift M for Windows users. I have no idea what it, what it is on um, Mac users. And now we can, you can see we can remove the black shapes here. So I'm just going to go around and just click and remove the black shapes that are left, like so. And we're left with these weird shapes here. Now. Here we want to again hold down shift key, select all our lines and the center shape as well and hit delete and we also want to delete this shape that's left and after that if we just select everything you can't see it, we have our shape I'm just going to paint that in fill it in with black and now that, that's our shape ready that's our shutter icon ready and this is all vector based, so you can just uh, resize it as big or as small as you want. You can do anything you want with it. You can even rotate it. If you don't like the straight lines, you can do anything. You just rotate it. Maybe you like it like that better. That looks weirdly different, but nice. Um, I hope you find that easy. Uh, please come back for more. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out more of these in the future. And uh, I hope to see you soon.